Hello everybody, Aaron here from Cool Guys Who Sit at Home, and welcome to Let's Play Episode 12. I have been having some computer problems. The normal software that I use for recording audio and video has not been working, and I have no idea why. So I've had to cobble together some lesser programs. Um, I'm actually using a separate audio and recording um, software, so we're going to see whether or not this video is worthwhile at all. <clears throat> we're actually going to go ahead and jump into my creative wor world called Merry-Go-Round. I have a special project for episode 12, and we're going to take a look at the creative version of this project. It is a Merry-Go-Round with piggies. It's a piggy-go-round. Um, it uses pistons, which I'm sure that you can hear. I'm quite sure that you'll be able to hear. Um, but yeah, you just sit down on a pig and go for a spin. Whee! Uh-oh. We had a glitch, a glitchy, glitchy, glitch. It's not 100% um, perfect, but it is super cool. And oops. And we're going to go ahead and get out, and we're going to take a look at this from far away. So we have this really cool building, which is nether brick and quartz that we're going to be building in kind of the center of our compound. Um, yeah, I've actually gone through about three or four designs for this. I originally built it before the hoppers came out and was using sort of a glitch timer where you'd have to uh, put together redstone and then um, break the redstone and you'd make a timer. I went through another version. Uh, similar to this one, but I was having issues with the timing. This one's really slow And so I actually came up with a pretty clever way to do the redstone and the timing where it didn't involve a lot of work And we're just gonna hop under here and take a look at it So the redstone actually runs right under the track. This is the um, the track above it and the redstone goes right underneath it. We got the timer in the middle. It's just got one item in it and then a comparator and a repeater on two ticks. And we just go around between all of them. And this is the redstone for it. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So these are where the pistons are. Pistons are right above here. That's how they're being powered. And when we turn it back on, of course, it will start the timer again and everything will start moving. The, I, I also wanna add a song to it. So when you turn it on, it'll have like a cool little, I don't know, merry-go-round style song, but I'm not very good at the music block. So I still have a lot of work to do on the song, but I left some area here. And of course we can always go down um, for the music. This pig isn't supposed to be here. It is a little glitchy, you know, but who cares? It's fun, who cares? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump back into um, the Let's Play world and we're gonna start building it. Now this one, you know, I was able to use um, pig spawn eggs, which made it really easy, you know, to get them into the location. So like, I can just do that. And then I break this and I put the pig, you know, and it runs away and then I do it again, you know, and eventually, oops, eventually we get, um, come on, let me out. Eventually we get a pig in there. So it is a little tricky to get the pigs in place. And I know that that's going to be a bit harder on, um, on the, on the survival world but it should still be doable. You know, it should still, that part I'm probably gonna have to do off camera. It's probably gonna be a pain, a pain in the butt, but I think that we can do it. So like right now you can see like, oh, how it doesn't really matter how many pigs I have to load. There we go. And that one's been gotten. And then we just put it back on the, no, go back on the track, you know, so you can see, uh oh, you can see this is a little bit of a pain in the tuchus, but um, it's not too bad go away it's not too bad and definitely in the survival world um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for sure but not impossible not impossible so eventually you know I just got to get this sitting there and then I got to get a block 
right here and you can see you know we worked on it before in general though it will eventually work um, and I did find that this like this one doesn't have a track underneath it um, this one does it does need the track the track is what's actually being pushed around the corner um, so when this when this thing gets pushed over the track keeps the um, the minecart and the pig from glitching so uh -oh. Bloop. and that should get the whole system started and there we go so we'll just watch a pig come around here really quick there should be another one coming so we'll see this minecart well that works too so maybe that one maybe that one will will work um, even though it's not on track I find that you really do need at least one track underneath for it to work again it's just really fun <laughs> I think so I'm gonna go ahead and build it in my uh, let's play world let's just go around a little bit and we need some music. Let's envision the music. Uh oh, it looks like this one's killing him. Huh. Well, that's okay. I wonder why this one's murdering the pigs. Hmm. We made a pig. Oh, it looks like there's um, two minecarts got on top of each other. Let's take that out. Let's take that out. There we go. There was the glitched out one. So again, not perfect. Fortunately, you don't lose your saddles, you know, but I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's just cool. I like it. And I'm going to go ahead and build it. You know, again, I understand it's not a 100%, you know, perfect machine, super reliable, but it's not meant to be. It's just meant to be fun. It's just meant to be a good time. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to our survival world and we're going to go ahead and get started on this project there are a few things that we need to do in order to get ready one of the first things that we have to do is we need a fortune three diamond pickaxe which i don't think i have i'm not sure if i have one um i went on that big nether journey last time there we go, that one's fortune three, it's not too damaged. Uh, maybe we can repair that puppy up. We'll grab some diamonds and see how much it costs. So we might have to do some AFKing at our uh, skeleton spawner because we're really, really, really gonna need to get, you know, um, well, maybe we have enough quartz. It looks like we might have enough quartz. That's good. That's a good news. But if we don't have enough quartz, we can always, you know, hack up this fresh couple stacks of nether quartz and we'll get on with it. And let's see how much of this do we have. We have plenty of that as well. Um, I'm pretty sure we have plenty of track and plenty of metal. So I guess we do. We kind of have everything that we want to have. But I'm still going to go ahead and chill out at my um, XP farm. Why are you missing? get 30 levels and repair this diamond pickaxe and then I will meet you outside and we will begin this project. We're going to be jumping forth between the creative world and this world because truthfully I don't have the whole build memorized but it should be a lot of fun. So I will see you in a minute as soon as I have all the XP I need. Hello everybody, I am back. We are going to get started on the pig carousel ride. But first, I'm going to fix my thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh. So I need, like, what, three quarters of a level? That is annoying. That is annoying. All right. To do such a thing, we are going to mine some quartz. That's what we're going to do. Just going to mine some quartz really quick and get our level and enchant our happy little pickaxe. So, this should not take too long. Bo, 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 bo. Quartz gives a lot of experience. I mean, you can just see it ticking up. Ticking up, oh, so close, so close. 
hopefully this will do it. There we go. Nice. Very nice. All right. Let's put this back. Let's put this back. All right. Let's go fixy fixy. <clears throat> the picky picky. So I believe I have. Oh, I don't have uh, my nether brick. All right. One more just for good measure. Let me just check my inventory really quick. We have metal. We need cobblestone so that we can make the pistons. And we don't need sticky pistons, so that's okay. I think we're good. Um, shovel, pick, this, metal. All right. Let us be on our way. So this build is uh, it's not too not too hard. So I don't expect it to take too long. I'll probably be doing maybe a little bit of time lapse or I don't know some cuts or something. I don't think I'm going to talk through building the whole thing. That might be a bit much, but let's go ahead. Can we do two? Too expensive. All right. What if we do another one? Thirty-eight. All right. Well, we will save that for another day. Now, it seems like it is daytime, which is awesome. We're just gonna need to go ahead and pick our location for where we want the thing to be. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm going to montage this to the point where we're gonna start our redstone and then we're gonna meet back here and probably for you guys about a minute, for me probably about a half an hour or so, um, and we're gonna do the redstone. So I'm just gonna keep building and I will see you guys back here in a second.
carousel. So I've gone ahead and placed our four pistons um, in the position that we need them to be. And what's going to happen is it's going to be pushing blocks around in a pretty much an infinite loop. Now these paths are 12 blocks long, which is the maximum distance that a piston can push blocks. The reason why I'm doing 12 and not 10 or 9 or 7 is so that I don't mess up my beautiful architecture if and when, more of when, something goes wrong. That way, if <clears throat> everything doesn't move exactly in the right order, then um, it, the whole system will just stop instead of breaking my architecture. I do seem to have a pretty scratchy throat today. I'm not sure why, so I apologize about that. Now, what we're going to be doing to keep our redstone simple is we're actually going to be running the redstone right underneath the track. So each one of these um, lower nether rack is where the track is. That allows me to um, make the timing a lot simpler. If we were just to try to run timers all the way around and use up a lot of space, then you have to be really careful with the amount of redstone that you put back and forth. But because all of these things are running right underneath the track and the distance between each of the, of the pistons is roughly the same, it makes it a lot easier to calibrate our repeaters um, in regards to the timing of the pistons. I've done it a bunch of different ways. And one of those other ways was to run redstone independently like put the timer in the center and then run redstone over here and over there and getting the timing down was just really difficult and I found if I put the redstone right underneath the track then it makes it a lot easier to keep all of them running in the right sequence. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our timer in and the timer is going to go dead center in the middle. So this is dead center which means I know that my hoppers need to go right there. I have two hoppers already. So I'm just going to attach it to this block. And then I'm going to attach this one straight in there. And so now we have our little hopper clock running. And if we put something inside, you see it starts blinking. It's going back and forth, back and forth. And then by using a comparator, we can turn that into a timer. So I'm just going to stick the comparator on right there. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And now blink, 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 blink. And then to get power out of that, we're just going to put a repeater. And for this project, that repeater needs to be on two ticks. Okay, so I'm gonna take that out and it should stop the system. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, now we need to add one more thing for our path. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build these little corner junctions. So I'm actually gonna take the redstone signal around each corner. And that's gonna be really helpful. So we're just gonna add these little blocks here, one on each corner. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the torches in underneath each piston. So there's an air, oop, I left that one there already. There's a piston right here. Um, redstone power is going to be coming from up here. So we're gonna have redstone going into this block. We're gonna use that to power this torch. And then to get the power up to the piston, we need to fill that in. And that's gonna power this piston, or I'm sorry, power that block, which will then power the piston. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these torches on all the sides. That one already has the block in place. This one already has the block in place, and then we have one more to go. There is four, who also has the block in place. All right, so now we need to hook up the redstone. So the redstone's gonna go into this one. So now when I turn this on, it's gonna invert that one, which is gonna make this inverted, and it's gonna turn on and off and on and off and on and off. So right now, all of the pistons should be on. And you can see they are Okay, so now we need uh, to run our redstone around and I can't fly because I'm not in creative anymore so I need to hop up there and we're going to do redstone like this and we don't need it there. So then one, two, three, right here at number four we're going to put another comparator, or I'm sorry, another repeater and I believe it needs to be on two ticks. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to do the same thing. So boop, boop. Boop, that's gonna go into that block to power it. We're also gonna branch it off around this direction. And we're at one, two, three, and then right here, we're gonna need um, another repeater. And I believe that one is gonna stay on one tick. Now we're gonna bring the power over into this last piston. And hopefully I'm doing this right. I, this is actually the second time I did it. I recorded this once already, but my voice has been 
really scratchy today. Um, and the recording was just horrible, so I had to redo it. All right, this one's actually going to go on the fifth one and not the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. We're going to put it right there. And I believe this one goes on two ticks. And then we'll just bring the power in here. And that should be it. I don't think we actually need to bring it all the way back around. All right. <clears throat> so now when I throw something in, we're going to go ahead and start this train a rolling. And let's use glowstone. Yeah. Okay, so now all the pistons should be pumping. So we're going to do a test with dirt. So I'm just going to fill in each side with dirt, leaving uh, where the piston's pushing blank. So we have, oops, 10 pieces of dirt on each side. And once we get all four sides, we should be able to get the system running. So here we go. This is going to be the last side. Come on. A little bit laggy. Stop being laggy. Bad game. Bad game. All right. So now, if I hooked up all the redstone right, I'm going to drop one piece of pist one piece of piston, one piece of dirt in here, and that should start the whole system. Which it did not. Let's put one more in. There we go. Uh-oh. Something's not right. There we go. Now we're, now we're flowing. Just had to get the right amount of dirt in there. Uh-oh. Nope. We have a problem. Um, and... All right, I'm going to check. Uh, let's hop over to our creative world and we're going to check the redstone really quick so we're going to go back around to the front maybe this does need to run all the way in i will try that okay so the first one is on two ticks and one two three four two ticks one two aha three on one tick so let's go ahead and fix that single player So we need to go around over here and bust that out. One, two, three. Nope. Three on one tick. And then we will bring this redstone all the way around. I'm not sure that it would matter, but maybe it does. Maybe it does matter. Might as well just copy what worked. Okay. Now. Let's see if we get rotation. Hmm. That's weird. Is it destroying a block? There we go. All right. So there should be one block gap, which is letting it go all the way around. And it is, so that's awesome. All right, so now we need to put our on off switch, which we're gonna do that by controlling um, the power to these hoppers. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna use cobblestone it looks like I need some more. I need some more. Don't fall in the hole. Okay. There we go. Got some more cobble. Oh, and it's nighttime again already. I'm going to put that there. Uh, and then we're going to break this block. We're going to put a piece of redstone. And then I'm going to break this block right above it. So that's going to stop the whole system. Just so I know when I go up there where that piece of cobble is. Oh, I hope a mob doesn't kill me, or a creeper comes and blow everything's up. If a creeper comes and blows us all up. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna be. 
not going to be happy. Alright, so we're going to put a piece of redstone there. Then we're just going to mark this with that cobblestone, although we're not going to keep it as cobblestone. Now I'm going to make a quick lever. Give me moss sticks back. Alright, that should start the whole thing again. And sure enough it does. No sword. No sword, run away. Alright, I'm going to go sleep. I will be right back, and we're going to finish up the details. Okay, so now all we have left to do is make it pretty and get our pigs in it. So I'm just going to shut this off. I'm going to remove all the dirt. Now this part of it, I'm sure that you could do a little bit cleaner, but that's okay if it's not perfect. Um, so for the 4th of July holiday, I'm going to be using red, white, and blue wool. Not to be confused with any other country. This is for America. Because 4th of July is American. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, did I grab my track? Nope. No, sir. Um, and then we're going to also put down track. So I'm going to do a piece of track. And I don't think it matters which direction the track faces, but I like it when the track faces that way. So red or white, red, blue, track, white, red, blue, track, white, and then red needs to go there. So blue, track, and we're just going to keep going around like this all the way around. It's going to be a very festive, festive ride, of course. You know, you bust this out for the holiday, for the kids. Everybody can take a little ride. Watch some fireworks. Oh, maybe we got to add some fireworks. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is not ever really perfect. I've built it a couple times, and I don't know, making it perfectly even... It just tends not to happen. So now we need um, a whole bunch of mine carts. And then all I gotta do is get the pigs and the saddles in. So we're gonna grab our metal. And that's not how you make a mine cart. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, so I guess I'm just gonna make a ton. Can't go wrong with a ton. All right. Oh, that's right, they don't stack. Oh, that's annoying. Mm, get rid of the string. Get rid of the ewo. And what else should we get rid of? What else should we get rid of? Let's get rid of these two pieces of wood. Alright. Now we can kind of pick all of our stuff up again. And we'll put these in a hot bar. I really wish, like, everything in this game would stack. It's so annoying when stuff doesn't stack. Anyways, okay. Uh, now we're just going to put our little carts in here. And that one goes there. And that one goes there. And it looks like we need two more. But that's okay. We're going to actually start it up. Um, and we're going to make sure that it all moves around. So I'm just going to add, what do we need? We need a blue one right there. Blue. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. And this one needs a red one. And there we go. So now we have the right number of blocks in there. It's just going to keep going around. And from far away, can see our blocks because we're only using half slabs. We're going to go ahead and put those uh, blocks in. So I'm going to go ahead and wrangle the pigs. I'm going to use leads to get them into the mine cart or to the mine carts. Obviously, you just got to get them in the path and they will pick them up and then I'll saddle them all and I'll meet you back here for our final ride. So I will see you guys in a minute. All right, welcome back, everybody. I have finished putting all of the pigs in place except for one. <clears throat> so I figured that we would do this last one together which hopefully will go smoothly and not badly. So first I'm going to add an extra track so that this can slide around. Um, I did find out that you can drag a pig into a minecart 
via your lead. Um, I'd only got it to work one out of the ten times that I was doing this. I also wasn't sure why all of my pigs were like running around and then I found out that at some point in time a creeper must have exploded up here and uh, let all my pigs go. So I'm just going to grab this guy from the light. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Don't die. Come on. Come on, little piggy. It's for America. It's for 4th of July. Everything's going to be fine. Also, <clears throat> because pigs don't stop to eat the grass, you can pretty much just run and run and run and run and the leads don't break. I haven't had any issues with the leads, so we're just going to get the piggy right over here. Let's see if we can drag him in. Can we drag him in? Come on. Come on. Oh, so close. So close. All right. <clears throat> Enough of the dragging. Let's bring him back over here. We're going to pop the lead off, and then we're just going to corral him into the chamber. Come back here. Come back here. So as you can see, it is kind of a pain to do this, but it's not too bad. Not as bad as getting all the cows into the um, moother board. That was a freaking nightmare. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. He's in position. Oh, oh you pig. You blasted swine. Of course, the last one is causing all sorts of problems. Does not want to behave, but that's okay. We will get Senor Pigarito into the thing. All right, just stay there. Stay there. Go. Go. Get in. Get in. You want to. I know you want to. It's better than being eaten. It's better than being porky chops which is what you were supposed to be You're supposed to be a delicious pork chop sandwich come on come on yeah there we go all right <clears throat> so we got the pig in now we just have to put that back in place we will pop this out and replace it with the track now all we should have to do is saddle our boys up and we can take them for a spin Ba, 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 ba. So exciting. All right. And fortunately, I do have a lot of saddles. I've been saving all the saddles that I find. Um, and I didn't lose the saddles that I got from the snapshots because they are legitimate items. You can see we have a little bit of a gap here, but that, that happens when you're setting this up. I mean, it's, it's not always perfect. All right, there we go. 10 pigs, 4th of July. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log on with my uh, alternate character so that we can get a nice little screen grab of me riding the pig. So I will be, I'm going to open this up to the LAN, start LAN world. All right, let's log on. And there you go. We have our merry-go-round and it looks like we lost some pigs that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and ride it too come on piggy Woo happy 4th of July everybody pig go round so much fun so much fun to ride the pigs around in a circle and of course it's nighttime and maybe a creeper will come explode us give us some nice fireworks but this has been Aaron from cool guys who sit at home and I will see you next time